Well, I'd like to introduce you to Scott and Kathy Falb, and Scott is going to read uh, their testimony. A series of events and circumstances brought us to God. COVID, Zoom groups, Joe and Denny, Carter, and New Hope. God was always at work, even when we didn't know it. We have looked back at our life and realized that God was always with us during the peaks, the valleys, and the hardships over the years, but we just hadn't seen it. God was there. Kathy and I met later in life. We were both divorced, met through a dating service in 2000. Once we got to know each other, we knew it was meant to be. We married in 2001, combined families, built in our house, and raised three teenagers. God was there. When my son died in a car accident in 2007, there was a brightly colored pink and yellow moth that showed up the day of his funeral, and again off and on over the years. Just Josh letting us know he was fine. God was there. When Kathy's mom died in December of 2012, we went to deliver a poinsettia and found her lying on the floor in the hallway of her home. We called the squad and were with her when she died just a few hours later, and God was there. Kathy's son Ben died in 2016. Ben died by suicide hours before we we returned home from a vacation. He has been with us on other vacations since then. There was the Benjamin Steakhouse on the airline seat. Another trip, the waiter on the beach in Mexico was Benjamin, a name not common there. Our Ben was letting us know he was fine, and God was there. Kathy's friend Rachel has been there just when we needed, just when Kathy's grief was so intense and she would call or stop by. Rachel dropped off six beautiful roses, one for each month that Ben had lived in peace. In honor of Ben, we planted a flowering cherry tree in our backyard. The blooms in the spring, that blooms in the spring right around the time that Ben passed. This beautiful pink blooms are a gift to us. We weren't sure it was going to make it that first year as the blooms were slow to open. But just like Ben, the tree was just about to do that. And God was there. In May of 2020, Kathy's sister Jo sent us a letter pouring out her heart and sharing her faith and wanting us to find the joy of having Christ in our life. We didn't get it yet. Later that summer, we started attending a weekly Bible study with Joe and Denny and a small group of members from their church in Columbus via Zoom. We had previously met some of these folks, so it was a good way to get together when we couldn't due to COVID. And God was there. We met a little girl, Carter, age two and a half, and her parents, Tyler and Megan, who moved in next door at the end of July of 2020. And she fell in love with our puppy dog, Gracie, and wanted to come and play. My mom said that she truly was a gift from God. This was during a time when the world was on lockdown and we were unable to see our own granddaughter, Nellie, who was born in May of 2020. We have grown close to Carter's family and know one day her new baby brother, Brooks, will walk across the yard to play too. And God was there. Near the end of 2020, Denny and Joanne gave us a small book by Andy Stanley titled, How Good Is Good Enough? We found that we could no longer trust in what we had done or will do to get to heaven. We made the decision to accept Christ as our savior and acknowledge that he died for our sins. And God was there. Our first time attending New Hope was January 3rd, 2021. From the moment we walked in the the door, we felt at home. We were sure Pastor Tim was talking directly to us every week, still. (laughs) We jumped right in with growth track and then into small groups. This is a new journey for us and we're grateful for the awesome people we have met and now call friends. The fellowship has been life-changing. God is there. Just getting involved has been such a blessing. God is there. God has been patient and waited some time for us to get it. We have found and accepted Christ later in our lives 
and have so much to learn. We don't have to know it all, we just need to get what God wants us to get right now. When circumstances threaten to make us question and doubt, we will choose to declare His truth instead. God is for us and with us. He always has been. God is there. Sometimes I think people from that are not a part of a church who don't don't understand a faith walk look at us as believers and say, well, you know, they're just the ones that got it all together. I think as we're seeing, if that if you are here and that has been your understanding, your thought process, hopefully you see that is not the case. Again, life is messy for us as believers too. But God is good, and he has shown himself um, certainly in a big way in your guys' family. So, so just say. All right, Scott, will you have accepted Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then, Scott, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. accepted Jesus into your heart as personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay. And Kathy, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay.